Hey there guys, this is Pete over here at Top Deck Arts Games and today we are going to be opening the newest Pokemon set, Flash Fire. Just got a box in, so we're going to take a peek at the contents inside. Let's go ahead and get our first pack opened up here. As always, our lovely code cards. In here we're just going to skim through the uh, commons and whatnot real quick like. Our reverse is a Caterpie. Our rare, we have Luxray. Pretty interesting for three energy, it is doing 120 damage, but it also does 30 to itself. It's not too terribly bad, and it can work with some other cards in this set. Here we have Blacksmith, one of our new supporters of the set. Attach two fire energy cards from your discard pile onto one of your fire Pokemon. Pretty decent energy acceleration. Certainly can't complain about that. Next side. I always just love the sound of those opening up. Code card on the side. Here we have our reverse, a Weavile, which is a reverse rare, which is actually, that's pretty excellent. And we have our hollow foil melodic. This guy's pretty cool. With the ability of once during your turn, you may knock out this Pokemon. If you do, attach three energy cards, basic energy cards, from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon, except for EXs. That is the issue with that card. You can power up your normals, but EX-wise, not so much. An interesting card for certain. Let's move on to our next pack. Yank that code card out. And here, our reverse is Lysander, one of the new supporters in this set. Which, if you guys are familiar with Pokemon Catcher, you'll know this card. It allows you to switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with one of their act with their active. So that is pretty excellent. And our rare is Bar Barbarical. This Pokemon kind of freaks me out a bit. It's an interesting attack too. First one, Rock Rush for two fighting, 30x. Discard as many fighting energy cards as you'd like from your hand. The attack does 30 damage times the number of energy you discarded. It's kind of interesting. In this set, we have a reprint of Ultra Ball. So those are going to be around in the format for quite some time, which is pretty excellent. Ultra Ball is a nice trainer card. Moving right along. Get this guy open real good. Take that code card out. All right. And here our reverse is Skrelp, and our rare is Heliolisk. Parabolic Charge is a notable attack. Allows you to search your deck for up to two energy cards. Reveal them, put them in your hands, and you shuffle afterwards. It's actually pretty handy. And the supporter for Pokemon Fan Club, one of the new supporters in this set. Allows you to search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon. Reveal them, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. It's actually really useful. Especially in later on down the road, we're probably going to be losing level ball in the rotation. So that would be a nice little handy get things out as quick as possible. And you also get EXs out with them too, so. Things to consider. In this pack, we have a reverse Pyroar. He is a Pokemon that has talked about quite a bit in this set. With his ability Intimidating Main, which prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's basic Pokemon. That's pretty strong, and it has the potential of just stalling a lot of decks. And our rare is a Holofoil Gudra with Gooey Regeneration. As often as you like during your turn, you may discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, you heal 60 from it, which is pretty excellent. It has 150 HP, so I mean, it, it's a pretty solid guy. Although it uses the unique combination of Water and Fairy Energy. Trick Shuffle, one of the new item cards in the set. If you guys are akin to magic, the effect of this trainer is very similar to the scry effect. It allows you to look at the top card of either player's deck. You may discard that card or return it to the top of the deck. It's pretty handy if, you want, if you're curious as to what you're about to go up against or if you're curious as to what your opponent may be drawing. And Sacred Ash, one of the new trainers. Shuffle five Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Works very similar to Super Rod, except it's five, but only Pokemon. Moving right along. 
Yank that code card out. There we go. Let's have a gander and see what we have in here. Our reverse is a Scraggy, and our rare is a Scrafty. That's kind of convenient. This guy here, 100 HP. Attacks really aren't too noteworthy, but it does look cool. And another Sacred Ash. Put that off the side there. And moving right along. Now this set's about slightly over 100 cards. So it's not as many in the base X and Y, which makes it so that you'll pull other more valuable things a little bit more often. So looking through, our reverse foil is Rapidash. And our rare is another Durant. This is not like the original Durant with the Devourer mechanic. This one with chip off, discard cards from your opponent's hand at random until they have four cards left. So you can keep reducing their hand down to size. It's not too bad. And we pulled another Lysander. That's most excellent. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be looking after that card right there. Moving right along. Almost. There we go. Yank that code card out. All right. Let's see. The verse here we have a Helioptile, and our rare is a hollow foil shift tree. The ability of Leaf Draw. Once during your turn for your attack, you may discard a grass energy card from your hand. If you do, draw three cards. That's not bad, really. Drench Dance with 20 damage times the number of benched Pokemon, both yours and opponents. Pretty interesting stuff. The draw power is pretty nice, I'll say that. And we have another Ultra Ball. Ultra Balls are always nice. Moving right along. About halfway through this one row. Let's see, in here, our Reverse Foil, Magnet Storm, one of the new Stadium cards. Each Pokemon in play has no resistance. Not really sure how I feel about that one just yet, but we have a Snorlax. With the ability to stir and snooze. If this Pokemon is asleep, flip two coins instead of one between turns. If either of them entails, this Pokemon is still asleep. Doesn't really sound like much of a positive. With its attack of Sleepy Press 120, heal 20 damage from this Pokemon, and it's now asleep. He can certainly take the hits, but he certainly cannot maintain the damage. If you're playing in any sealed events, he might be a useful wall. And our other item in this pack, Pal Pad, one of the new items of the set, allows you to shuffle two supporter cards from your discard pile into your deck. Which is actually really handy. You don't have to feel that after you use your supporters, they're gone forever. Next pack. Yank that code card out. There we go. Looking on through. We have a Reverse Baneri, and our rare is Furret. It's rather adorable. It's Attack Buried Treasure Hunt. Look at the top four cards of your deck and put two of them in your hand. Discard the others. I mean, it's pretty solid. It'd be fun to mess around with. And Fiery Torch, one of the new item cards in this set. Allows you to discard a Fire Energy card from your hand. If you can't do it, you can't play this card. And draw two cards. It's a really neat combination with that card and Blacksmith. If you can pull off two Fiery Torches, it will allow you to draw four cards. And you can throw those two Fire Energies right back onto one of your Pokemon. So, pretty excellent stuff. Take out that code card. Alright. I'm going to shift these up hit here before we look through. Our reverse is a Florgus, which is a reverse rare. It's pretty excellent stuff here. All one energy attacks. Brilliant search. Allows you to search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hands. That's really powerful. And for one fairy energy, Petal Blizzard, this attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Do not apply weakness or resistance for benched. That's pretty solid. And I hope I see a lot of decks with that. And our rare is a Hollow Foil Dusk Noir. With the ability Shadow Void, as often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. And Pain Pellets puts damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon equal to the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. So, if you really wanted to, you could throw just about everything up until Knockout on him and transfer them to any of your opponent's Pokemon. He'll still maintain the damage, but that's 120 wherever you pick. Which is pretty excellent. 
And here we also have a new tool card, Protection Cube. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon. To prevent all damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks it uses. So anything that would damage itself with an attack, this would prevent that damage. It's pretty excellent stuff. And we have Startling Megaphone, another new item card. Discards all Pokemon tool cards attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. It's like Tool Scrapper, but it wipes your opponent's field. Not a good day for Tool Drop. Moving right along. Yank that off. Let's look through here. Our reverse is a Stunky, and our rare is a Butterfree. One with the attack Quiver Dance allows you to search your deck for basic energy to hard, attach it to this Pokemon, shuffle your deck afterwards. If you attach an energy in this way, heal 40 damage. It's pretty interesting. Another Magnetic Storm, and another Pal Pad. Alright, that's pretty excellent. Almost through the first row. Do, 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 do. Yank that out. Alright, looking through here. Our reverse is a Skunk Tank, which is a reverse rare. Always excellent. And Low Punny is our rare. With Big Jump, once once during your turn before you attack, you may return this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your hands. So you can have it out there. If it's about to go down, you can just scoop it right back up. And another Magnex Storm. Oh, that one just split in two. All right. Let's have Gander. Oh, looks like we got something important in here. All right, our reverse is C Dot. And our rare. We have Mega Charizard EX. Now, this is the Mega Charizard Y variant that you would find in the X and Y games. He is. Decently powerful, he has 220 HP, and with his attack at Crimson Dive for 2 Fire and 3 Colorless does 300 damage, pretty much guaranteeing an instant knockout. It does 50 damage to itself, however, so definitely something you'd want to use Protection Cube on. So that's pretty cool. We're going to set him off to the side here. We'll put him right there. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. So that's always exciting when you get to pull an EX, or a Mega EX even. Alright. Next item up for bid. Take that code card out. Have a gander through. Here we have a Reverse Floette. The ability of Flower Veil, each of your grass Pokemon in play gets plus 20 HP. So that's pretty excellent. Our rare is a Skung Tank. We have pulled a Pokemon Center Lady, which allows you to heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. It's a pretty useful support, especially in Sealed. And here we have no Trick Shovel. Most excellent. Alright, we're getting close to finishing up the first row. Come on. You know you want to come out. There we go. Alright, let's have Gander. Here we have a Reverse Melodic, just like the one we pulled earlier. That's pretty excellent. We have Drag... Dragalgy. Dragalgy, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. New Dragon type with Poison Barrier. Your opponent's Poison Pokemon cannot retreat, and Poison Breath for 60 damage. Flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. So it's pretty interesting stuff, the fact that you can keep something locked in there. And we have pulled another blacksmith. Most excellent. And almost done with the first row. Almost, I was about to say I was the last one, but I was wrong. Yank that code card out. Let's have Gander. Our reverse, we have a Flabebe, so we have the whole tree in reverse foil. It's pretty awesome. And we have the Hollow Rare version of Pyroar. So we have two Pyroars out here. That's pretty good. Alright, final pack of the left side. So 
Take that out. All right. We have a reverse Torkoal. I like turtles. Weavile. Weavile is pretty excellent for the rare. With the one energy call for family, you can search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, put them on your bench. It's pretty excellent stuff. And another protection cube. Those will be in ha come in handy. All right, let's move on to the right side. Take out that code card. Let's have a look. Here we have a reverse foil Pichotto and our rare Quillfish. Counterattack Quills. This Pokemon is your active and is damaged by an opponent's attack. Even if it's knocked out, you put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. You could stack that with Rocky Helmets or Rock Guards to do additional damage that way. And Pokemon Fan Club. Always good to have those. Moving right along. Take that out. And let's have a look-see. Our reverse foil. We have a Stunky and another Hollow Rare Melodic. All right, we almost have a place out of those. With another Lysander. Also another place set. And another Trick Shovel. So pretty excellent pools, especially trainer-wise. Getting a lot of good stuff out of here. All right, looking through. Here we have a Reverse Foil Phoebus that'll go with our Reverse Melodic. And our rare being Floette with the Flower Availability. Most excellent. Uh, another Sacred Ash. Let's have Gander. A Reverse Foil Carbink. This guy's pretty good. I played with him in a sealed event a couple days ago. And he's pretty powerful. He's only 70 HP, basic Pokemon. With uh, first attack, Crystal Barrier. Flip a coin. If heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponents during your opponent's next turn. So, you know, flip. it's a flip, but you can potentially stall. It's real magic is with the second attack air, Wonder Blast, for three colorless energy. 40 damage plus 20 more for each fairy energy attached to this Pokemon. I did a pretty devilish combo with this guy, with him and Melodic, where I would sacrifice to Melodic to attach three fairy energies onto that Carbank and just start stomping. A rare, Walrein. 150 HP stage 2 is pretty solid. Let's look at that big attack, big tusk, 120 minus. Does 120 damage minus 10 for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So if you're hitting right off the bat, he can do some solid damage, but over the course of time, it's gonna be a little rough. But his first attack does 60 and guarantees sleep, so something to consider. Moving right along. Let's have a look-see. Oh, looks like we got something important in here. All right, we have here reverse as Ponyta. And we have pulled a Toxicroak EX. He's pretty nifty. 170 base HP. First attack for two colorless. Triple poison. Your opponent's active, po active Pokemon is now poisoned. You put three damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. If you have a Verbank City Gym out, that's five damage counters in between turns. That's pretty powerful. Second attack, smash uppercut for two psychic, one color, any damage, and it's not affected by resistance. So, I could definitely see it being in play for, if anything, its first attack with the five poison. That's pretty excellent. And we've pulled another Ultra Ball. Those are always handy. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. Moving right along. Let's see what we got here. We have a Reverse Scrafty, another Reverse Rare. I always like those. And a Fortress. Guy's pretty interesting. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So just shoot everything for one. And Iron Crash for two colors energy, 20 damage plus 20 more for each 
energy cost in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So, the bigger it is, the harder it falls. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, next pack. We have Reverse Foil Binnacle. Norera's Meow Stick. With Ear Influence, move as many damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon as you like to any of your other opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. And Psychic for 3 RNG, 60 damage, plus 10 more for each RNG attached to your opponent's active. Not too shabby, especially if we need Stage 1. And we have pulled another Fiery Torch. Those are most excellent. All right. Still got a little ways to go. I'm pretty excited. Maybe we'll pull some more goodness, right? All right. Let's see what we got here. We have a reverse foil draglidge, always handy. And the hollow rare carbink. So we have both the reverse and the hollow rare. I do like that guy. He's a fun card. And another Pokémon Center lady. Well, yes, I do like my healing. All right. Looking through. Our reverse foil is a Sneasel. And our rare is a Pidgeot. With Clutch, 40 damage. Defending Pokemon can't retreat during opponent's next turn. Handy. Strong Gust, rear energy 60. During your next turn, Pokemon's Strong Gust attack is 60 more. So after the first time you use it, if you keep using it, it's just going to smack for 120. Pretty neat stuff. And another Palpad. Palpad's going to be quite handy, I believe. Looking through our reverse foil, we have Dusclops, and our rare is Golem. Stone Edge for 60 damage. Flip coin if heads does 30 more. And explosion for 150 damage. It does 100 damage to itself. That's definitely something to put a protection cube on. So that is some pretty obscene damage. And we have a startling megaphone. For you tool drop users, I'm sorry. Alright, moving right along. Here we have a reverse Litleo, and we have another hollow foil Gudra. Alright. And a Magnex Storm. I personally don't see the usability of Magnex Storm just yet, but maybe in the future. Who knows? Just go ahead and trash everything real quick. All right, looking through. Here we have a reverse foil mill tank and another Luxray with the Pokemon Fan Club and another Magnetic Storm. So we certainly hit the play set of those. Could be something interesting to mess around with. Alright, looking right through. We have a reverse foil Roselia and a rare Scrafty. Along with another blacksmith. Most excellent. Getting down to the wire. We've pulled two EXs so far. Let's see if we can pull a third. Or maybe a coveted full art, or even a secret rare. Moving right along, we have a reverse foil Esper, and we have a full art Pokemon Center Lady. I like the art of it, it's pretty nifty. Give a good look at that right there. It's got the neat little textures on it and everything like that. It's pretty cool, I like it. Kind of funny how I was predicting that. 
I'll pat myself on the back later, don't worry. Moving right along. In this pack, we have a Reverse Foil Dredgegon. This guy's going to be pretty powerful. Two Colorless Energy Revenge does 20 damage. If any, of your if any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack during his or her last turn, this attack does 70 more damage. And with Dragon Claw for a Fire, Water, and Two Colorless, 80 damage. Probably won't see a Dredgegon using Dragon Claw, but Revenge hitting for a potential 90 and being a Dragon type, that can hit a lot of things hard. And we have a Snorlax as a rare with a Protection Cube. Protection Cube's going to be quite handy in this set. Alright, let's have a gander through this pack here. We have a Reverse Foil Spritzy. And our rare is Barbaracool. With another Protection Cube, a Pal Pad, and an Ultra Ball. All three uncommons being trainers. That's always nice. All pretty useful too. I like that. Got two packs left. Let's see what magical goodness awaits us. Oh, looks like we got something pretty excellent in here. We have a Reverse Foil Fortress. Very nice. And we have another Mega Charizard. This one is Mega Charizard X. Has 230 HP as a Dragon type. For two Fire, one Dark, and two Colorless. Does 300 damage as well. And you must discard the top five cards of your deck. It's definitely pretty... Oh, wait a minute. Now that I'm looking at this card, this is the Secret Rare Mega Charizard. It may be a little bit hard to tell, but you'll see the borders of the card on the edge. They're golden, and the Japanese text in the image also has gold to it. Get a good look there. You see it's a little bit more shinier than the other ones, too. That's pretty awesome. So we got two EXs. We got a full art and a secret rare. This is quite the fun box. Also a trick shovel. We need to like just tone the excitement down a little bit and lose our stuff over a trick shovel there. Final pack of the box. Let's get this guy out of here. All right, take that out. Let's look through. We have a Reverse Foil Litleo, and our rare is a Durant. Uncommons, we have another Sacred Ash. Excellent. So overall, pretty exciting. A lot of neat stuff to play around with. A lot of the Pokemon, while well, may not be too overwhelming powerful, but a lot of unique things to mess around with. So that's pretty excellent. And having the overall pulls of two EXs of Full Art and a Secret Rare is always nice. So these are some of the stuff that you can expect in the X and Y flash fire sets. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you uh, want to see more of this, you can always subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date with any of our special deals, events, tournaments, you can always follow us on Facebook. I'll see you guys later.